Hi there guys, so I have two quick unboxings to do today. Um, I have one from So Many Legs, which is a sand spider, one of those sand burrowing spiders. I've wanted it for quite a while. And the other one is a Linotheal Phallix, which is um, a very heavy webbing spider. And this is from the spider shop and I have an Idiotheal Mira, which is the blue footed baboon. And I also have four armored millipedes. So let's get into the unboxing and see what we have in here. So, yeah, I've, I've um, been looking one of these sand spiders for quite a while. And um, finally, so many legs has got one up. So I took the chance and got it while I could. So this, this is going to be interesting. These guys apparently pack quite a nasty little bite, so it's very important to make sure not to get bit by one of these little dudes. And it should be a sling. Um, just set these on the ground for now. So, there we are, there's one. I'm thinking maybe there's a little smaller vial with that. Oh yeah, yeah. So let's um, just see what we've got. Now, this, um, six I okay, yep, yeah, this is the, wow. <laughs> That's very, very tiny. I don't know if you can see that. That is the little sand burrowing spider. It's, um, don't know if I can get a, a close look at that or not. But we'll get a look at it. I have, I have a little sand enclosure for it. And this is the Linotheal Phallix. So um, we will get those rehoused in a minute. But first, let's open the Spider Shop um, box. So there's a lot. Um, it looks like a big box for just a sling and four millipedes. Um, but I have some plastic containers because I want to move some of the other slings that I have into slightly bigger enclosures. So, okay. Um, I'll, sorry, I'll carry on again. My camera is playing up there. Um, so, uh, I have quite a bit of equipment in here um, regarding plastic tubs and various bits and pieces. So that's, um, that's for rehousing various um, slings. So, um, that's, that's why the box is so big, really. And there's some spider shop leaflets. And let's see what we have. So, yeah, loads of little plastic tubs. Um, there's one of the spiders in there. Or, sorry, the only spider in this order, actually. That's the um, Idiotheal Mira. Just set that over here. Um, we should have more, more containers. Yep. Need loads and loads of those. Um, somewhere in here, I should have armored millipedes. There we go. Oh wow, these guys look really, really cool. So you can just see there should be four in there. They're about adult size. So, um, wow, they're cool. They are really, really cool. Wow, you can see little, little dots along the top of their segments. They look, they look really, really awesome. So, um, I think the rest, the rest of that should just be, um, equipment. So, why not just take a look at these millipedes? I'll get their enclosure set up and a little bit of food for them and we'll have a look at them. Okay, let's um, start by getting these millipedes rehoused. Um, I've, I've really been getting into the idea of colonizing millipedes, um, breeding some of them. Uh, I have three ivory millipedes. Um, I'm looking to get a skeleton leg 
or well a colony of skeleton leg millipedes and breed those and hopefully I'll breed these guys as well um, I'll need a few more uh, just to prevent inbreeding and stuff like that when the uh, second and third generation starts to come in um, but yeah I'm, I'm hopefully gonna breed these guys because these guys look really really awesome so wow And, uh, you can just see those patterns on their their abdomens or their um, segments. Let's see if we can get this little fellow out. Come on, buddy. That was really really cool. No, <laughs> he doesn't want to come out. We will get him in his enclosure anyway. Let's see. Just going to take your moss. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's cool. That's really, really cool. I'm really happy with these guys. They look so awesome. And yeah, it just looks like they're, they've got little bits of armor plating on them. <laughs> it's really, really cool. So, let's get you into your new enclosure with your little buddies. Maybe you don't want to come out now. <laughs> there we go. really really cool so I think I think this is really adult size they don't get um, bigger than this but that's pretty cool all the same so there we go little buddy And let's get your little friends in here too. You can try to do it without freaking them all out. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's ready to come out again. <laughs> He doesn't want to stay. Those guys are so awesome. Really, really happy with these millipedes. So, yeah, I've just um got recently into the idea of breeding millipedes and um. I think that would be really really awesome they're just um a lot more well a bit 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 um less exciting than the spider whoa <laughs> he really doesn't want to stay in there come on buddy Your little buddies will come in here with you too. Oop. Oop. Trying to get them out without freaking them out too much. Come on. Okay, so my battery died in the camera again. Um, so I got these guys rehoused. Um, I got some carrots in there and parsnip. That should keep them fed for now. And I'm going to go ahead and rehouse the sand spider. So you can just see him sitting there. These little guys burrow under the sand. So um, this little enclosure here filled with sand and we um, hide for him. So let's see if we can take him out. Nice and gently. 
This Teshi doesn't want to cooperate. You're alright, little spider. There we go. And this little guy just hides under the, the sand. He's, <laughs> he's running about. So luckily, um, I've seen lots of videos of these guys. They can't climb on plastic like tarantulas can. So um, he won't be able to get out there even if I leave the um, lid open. There, you can see him trying to get out just about. And no luck. And that's, he just won't be able to get out there, so um, that's awesome. That's the little sand spider. I've uh, uh, wanted one of these for quite a while, so it's um, it's really cool to finally get one. And hopefully this little fellow will be just at home here in this enclosure. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, this is the Edothiel... Um, Mira, which is the blue foot baboon. Again, this should be a little sling, um, about a centimeter big, I think. So let's check this little dude out. It's very similar um, to the Harpactrica pulcheropes, which is the golden blue leg baboon. Um, it'll have similar patternations. Um, only its body will be a bit more grey and the blue will be further down the leg. So, whoop. Alright, buddy. I set you in there before you freak out. <laughs> so we don't have a little runner here. So, there you go. And hopefully this fella will make himself at home there. So, um, these guys, once again, they'll look really, really cool whenever um, they get into their adult size and you'll be able to see their colors. So, um, you know, really cool. Another species that I've wanted for a while, so it's good to finally have one. Um, and let's finally move on to the Linotheal phallix. And finally, for this unboxing video, um, we have the Linotheal phallix. It is, of course, a true spider, and these guys are really, really fast, so um, no messing about. I'm going to keep it over um, the enclosure. And these guys, um, you can just about see them in there. These guys are super heavy webbers. And that's pretty cool because I was actually at the pet store the other day and I managed to pick up um, this awesome, let's see if we can get a good, this awesome piece of wood here. And what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to set it down in an enclosure like that and let some sort of um, heavy weber just web in and around those little um, spindles and I think that's going to look really really cool I think that will be um, a very awesome feature of uh, some some terrarium let's see if you can get a better look at that yeah so you can see lots of little spindles there and that, that will look really really cool once um, a spider or a tarantula just basically webs up around that like crazy so um I'm thinking that might be a feature for the Linotheal phallix, which I have here, but um, this little guy is going to have to uh, grow first and get a bit bigger. They look really, really awesome when they get big. Nice, big, long, very um, typical spider legs, if you imagine. So we are going to try to take this little fellow out. And let's just see if I can get a good... Um, picture of it here. Maybe, oh, he ran away in there. Um, I have my little yellow brush somewhere. Now, this will be much better. 
before um, getting them out. So we're just going to try and encourage them by poking very gently. Come on. On we come. There we go. So he's in there somewhere and um, I don't know, he's, he's probably run in under that. Um, so in a couple of days um, this species will have webbed up pretty heavily around this area and it's going to make a really really awesome web castle um, hopefully with that feature. I might use it for one of my funnel webs but we'll just play that by ear and see what way that goes but uh, yeah the only other thing is I'm definitely going to get a bigger enclosure for these guys um, I thought they were a bit smaller than they are but they're pretty big so the idea will be just to get a bigger enclosure for them so that they're not uh, cramped up like that but they're really really awesome I'm really really happy with those guys so thanks to everyone who's watched the video and hopefully I will see you on the next one